They better not be having fun. They need to be planning a wedding. My wedding. Over the coming weeks, these ordinary Aussie blokes are taking on the biggest job of their lives. It's not about the bride, this wedding's about me. <laughs> planning their entire wedding. If he gets it wrong, and I'll be telling him about it for the rest of our lives. With no help from their bride. I think he might be spending money on the wrong things. The grooms get $25,000 and three weeks. This could be the worst day of my life. To pull off the big day. I'm over weddings, I don't even want to get married. If I lose the parents, she'll never have me. Will they give her a wedding to remember? Uh -huh. We're in an aquarium with Elvis. <laughs> or a nightmare to forget. Not happy, dear. It's not going to be OK. Whatever you do, don't tell the bride. I just think it's one bloody big joke. Tonight, Sports Mad Aaron is planning a wedding. Don't screw it up. For his summer loving bride, Mel. I hate winter. Like, I absolutely hate the cold. In this. It's horrendous. <laughs> it's freezing. Can this man. This is what happens when you get your future husband to plan your wedding. Give this woman. Oh! I'm not going if this is my invitation. I literally feel like I'm going to vomit. The day she's always dreamed of. Oh, my God! I don't want him to completely F it up. Or will this winter wedding... This is ridiculous. I can't get through there. ..be put on ice? Where's Mel? Mars. She could be on friggin' Mars at the moment. Who knows? Okay. It's often said that opposites attract, and tonight's couple are no exception. Aaron is a laid-back, footy-loving bloke who loves a beer, and he snagged himself a princess. They are her words, not mine. But will his plan for a winter wonderland wedding leave him skating on thin ice? Five-year-old Mel is leaving the house she shares with her fiance, 29-year-old Aaron. I'm just hoping that this zipper still does up. That's the biggest bag you can take without paying excess baggage. Aaron has three weeks to plan the wedding, and Mel will be at her mum's house, where she'll have no input. But it looks like Mel's packing for three months. I need to fix up my shoes just in case. <laughs> what well, you're packing for shoe Armageddon? <laughs> <laughs> I need to. I... Schumageddon 2012. <laughs> They've been head over heels in love for seven years. Mel's by far the best person that I know. She's my best friend. He is, you know, the number one person in my life, and I really just couldn't imagine life without Aaron. Aaron is a typical bloke. I would describe Aaron as just like a man's man. We have a whole bun of fatty meat and bacon and cheese. He just loves to do a lot of nothing, watch a lot of sport, play PlayStation. And he also looks out for his mates. Aaron has oh. a weird habit. He lets the dog do things that I'll, I I'll don't let him do. I'll explain it because you make it sound weird. Because it is weird. Like, you let the dog rest his balls on your foot. It's not hurting anyone. <laughs> yeah. Mel is a self-confessed princess. That ring up there is really, 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 really shiny. And she definitely wears the pants in this relationship. No, it's ugly. You're out of your mind. Our approach to a happy relationship, mostly me doing as I'm told. I think I might actually need a bigger car, Aaron. If Aaron really screws this up and gets everything wrong, I'll still marry him. How generous. Probably. <laughs> Don't cry. I'll take care of it, I promise. There you go. Okay. I'll see you at our wedding. <laughs> I hope. Very overwhelmed. It'd be a lot easier if we could just plan it together, obviously. <laughs> Bye. Don't screw it up. <laughs> the next time Mel will see Aaron will be on their wedding day. I feel sorry for Aaron. <laughs> I know that he'll freak out and I won't be able to tell him it's okay. 
Don't worry, Mel. Best man Matt right. is here yep. to help. Has she hit the road yet? Yeah, mate, bring it in. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Matt is... I see you come prepared. That's always good. He is a pain in the ass. Like, when it comes to it, he really is. How are you, buddy? Yeah, good, mate. Good. good. I met Aaron back in high school. You want one? Let's go. Since then, he's just become kind of a brother. Cheers. Cheers. To Here's the silly buggers. To planning weddings. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get to work. As uninterested as Mel is about sport and stuff that I like, I am equally uninterested about planning weddings. <laughs> I need more of these. <laughs> I don't know detail. Like, I don't know details of what she wants. I mean, I what, is, what, what, what does every girl want? A dress. Yeah. Flowers. Yeah. Um. Oh. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. The trip to her mum's house has given Mel some time to think of the drawbacks of a winter wedding. Hi. Hi. Oh, my goodness, look at this weather. I know, it's oh. gross. I just... I hate winter, like I absolutely hate the cold. I love the summer weather. At the current season, <laughs> it's obviously the ceremony should be inside, mm. definitely, because it needs to be weatherproof. Well, that makes sense. So the plan is for the wedding, I, I want to do it at the snow, I want to do it at Threadbow. The snow? <laughs> it's well, going to be freezing! Yeah, well, that's the what's the snow. You know, snow's frozen snow's water, gone. right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, a wedding at the snow appeals to me, and I'm not going to lie, first and foremost, because I like the idea of maybe trying to go down a couple of days earlier and, and ski. <laughs> um, I mean, if we play our cards right, I'm thinking we could have a ski at least on the morning of the wedding. That's a given. Definitely. Um, there's no doubt that my love of the snow is stronger than Mel's love for the snow. Mel does like the beach. She likes the sand. She likes the sun. But yeah, it's winter. Like, no one wants to go to the beach in winter. Like, uh, that's my justification. Um, so that's pretty much the wedding, skiing. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, uh, that's, <laughs> that's the limitation of my thought process so far. It's day two, with only three weeks till he says I do. Let's go. Aaron's got his work cut out for him. The guys are headed to Threadbow Ski Resort with a plan of attack. Tonight, important to find somewhere to have something to eat. Watch the footy. Watch the football. And then there's the wedding. I'm not even 100% sure what I'm looking for. I haven't thought this through as much as I probably could have. It'll be right. <laughs> how, can, how can it not be right? <laughs> how can anything go wrong? The seven-hour drive to Threadbow has taken up most of day two. But the guys aren't worried. <laughs> I, I am a little bit worried. It's a short time period. He doesn't have time to screw around. This will be me and Mel at the altar. Mel's got a bit more hair than that. And a bit skinnier, but with the white dress. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Back home with her mum, Mel's already starting to worry that the boys will be boys. I just have this, like, gut feeling that he will be at a pub for two and a half weeks. She's right. Get on that. Oh, chase that. I, I am a little bit worried about the influence that Matt will have. If Aaron's having a good time, he'll just go along with it. Oh, go, go, go! Yes! yes! There's nothing that has to be done tomorrow that can't be done with a hangover. While the guys begin day three with a headache, Mel's taken her mum and bridesmaid Amy to the reception venue she'd choose if she had any say in the wedding planning. Vaucluse house and tea rooms. Oh, oh my god, it's amazing! Oh, I, love I love it! Love it. For once, Mel, it's all about what your fiance loves. Aaron will be choosing the reception venue. It does it's look a like a castle, like a princess. <laughs> it does, doesn't like a it? Princess castle. It's got that effect. Doesn't it does. It? Yeah. it does. How old do you think it is? Oh, no. I failed history, I think. I really just want to get married here. 
I'm hoping that this is, you know, even if it's not the place, this is something that might mirror what Aaron's doing. Yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. a mirror image of exactly what Aaron's choosing right now. Yep. Perhaps not. It's getting cold up here. Oh, this is horrendous. <laughs> it's freezing. Aaron's dream reception venue is somewhere on this snow-covered mountain. At least it'll be a white wedding. How do you think you'd come through, like, horse-drawn carry? You would have to. Horse-drawn. Absolutely. There's no other option. It's the perfect setting. A horse and carriage or a chairlift. No contest, really. That's the concern, is how to get, how to get up here. I mean, obviously, there's a chairlift, but I don't know another way to do it to get on the front of one of those things. I think they've got heaters. Aaron's thinking bulldozers in a blizzard. Mel's seeing sunny tea rooms as the perfect place for a reception. Oh, oh it's so warm in here. I know, it's, it's so beautiful. warm because of all the sun, yeah, and maybe. Cozy. This has made me, like, absolutely believe that we could create this, you know, pretty light-drenched summer sort of evening and feel for the wedding, but in the middle of winter. Oh. Keep dreaming, Mel. Oh, it's a bit cold. Braving frostbite, <laughs> Aaron's found a reception venue with a bird's eye view. Oh, wow. It's pretty nice. How many people can we sit in here? The restaurant seats 85 yep. upstairs here. Then once it's all set up, it'd be just absolutely stunning yep. up here, so. And the whole village you can see from up here as yeah. well, you know, so it's particularly pretty at night. Yeah. Um, you can see all the village lights and the stars up. Yeah. Gorgeous, beautiful setting, so. And he knows that you want it nice and hot and summery. Mm, that's really what I, that's what I am. Mm. <laughs> I'm summer all year round. Definitely got more potential than what I thought than when, when we were coming up here. Yeah. Um, the white breeze. <laughs> oh, a bit of thinking to be done over a couple of cold beers, I think, mate. Still to come. Yeah! Aaron loses sight of his goal. And the bride is not happy. Am I getting pumped? I'll try again, Aaron. Will his winter wedding snowball into disaster? Come on. Where is she? Aaron's planning a wedding in the snow for his summer-loving bride. I'm summer all year round. Too bad she has no say in it whatsoever. <laughs> it's freezing. So far, he's looked at one wind-blown reception venue. So it's time to knuckle down. Let's get beers. Armed with 25 grand and his best mate, Aaron's on a mission to lock in the reception venue. Nice view, looking back over the mountain. Local hotel The Denman is a short stroll from the pub. I notice your bride's not here with you. Yep. Um, she's got no say in it. She's got no say in it. It's a... Oh, you're a brave man. Okay. But don't worry, the, the first time's always the worst. <laughs> so... It starts at 102 per oh. person, mm -hmm. and then it goes up in increments. The cost was 102 uh, plus dollars, extras. yeah, plus plus extras uh, ahead. Um, it's going to come down to price. Come in, come in. But Aaron hasn't seen the jewel in the Denman's crown. This is the bar in Threadbow Apresky. Yep. Right. This is it. This joint. Pulses. Sold. Thank, thank I you. I think we'll be hearing from you. The reception venue is booked. He's just spent $4,000. I'm definitely happy with it. Yeah. But Aaron will worry about the budget later. The next morning, Mel's at the Sydney Cathedral she'd have chosen for her wedding ceremony. Oh, my gosh. So Look pretty. That oh my is goodness. stunning. People would cry walking in here. Yeah. You, could you not just imagine me walking down this aisle? Like, it's so long and glamorous. For this time of year as well, if there's any weather issues, this is like... Perfect. Absolutely. Perfect. An indoor ceremony would make a lot of sense. You're looking at a ceremony? Yes, yep. Lovely. And you're thinking outdoor, indoor? Outdoor would be nice. We've got some lovely areas near the river here. And the highway. Like this, yeah, it's nice down here. Obviously, we get a lot of morning traffic, yeah. people getting up onto the mountain, and obviously afternoon traffic. 
it's, it's very different. Yeah, yeah. For sure. It certainly is different and far from traditional. For you though, why is the church important for you? Because I just think that a wedding should symbolise those beliefs and traditions. Like that's the purpose yeah. of getting married. Like it's something that I've always wanted. It's a one-time event. Like this is something that you do once. Mm -hmm. We can't recreate this moment ever. And I don't want him to completely F it up. I hate seeing you like this. <laughs> I really do. I don't like seeing you like this. I know. I'm really, really, really nervous about it. I think that there's a, like a huge potential that it can be an absolute disaster. I mean, obviously, we can't guarantee the weather. We try yep. To... That sounds very promising. Excellent. It's going to be a beautiful day. Yeah, I hope, hopefully. It will, yeah. it will be. It won't be, Matt. It will be, Matt. Oh, the power of positive thinking. That should keep everyone warm. Outdoor wedding it is, with no backup plan. People can win till they want. It's my wedding. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're just at it. Back at home, Aaron's got to make sure he and Mel are surrounded by friends and family on their big day. Bringing people today, giving them the good news, I guess. Yeah, look, the, the, big, the biggest problem will be um, telling some people that they've got to go to the snow in, in two weeks. Um, I mean, some people just don't like the cold. Like uh, your fiancé, for example, who's certain of what she doesn't want. What do you imagine your invitations to look like? Probably worst case scenario would have to be a phone call. That's not mm. an invitation. <laughs> that's, that's embarrassing, actually. Hello. Hi, Mum. Hi, Aaron. It's not so much an invite that'll go out. This is pretty much the invite. Uh, it'll be Saturday the 23rd. What month? Well, of this month. Bloody hell. You'll be travelling a bit. It's it's down in Threadbow, oh. buddy. I don't know if I can make Threadbow. <laughs> me, me and your cousin, we're getting married. Oh. High on the guest list is bridesmaid Amy, who's having a girls' night with Mel. I was shot bought. <laughs> Did you make oh, that to the oh. Macca, what's going on? Not much. What are you doing? Are you around Mel? Because I need you to... Separate yourself. Yes, from I, I am around Mel. Yeah, well, go go somewhere else. <laughs> this is well, your your guys, everyone that's in earshot. Yeah. This is your official invite to the wedding. I'm not going to tell you where it is. I'm assuming you're in. How about the others? Are you RSVPing? Yes. Yeah. To the wedding. Is this a, is this? A, <laughs> shut up, Amy. Is this an invitation for you? <laughs> Joke? <laughs> this is the only invitation that we're getting. Am I getting punked? I'm not even getting an invitation. So we have to ask everyone to through Amy. I'm not going if this is my invitation. Try again, Aaron. What's wrong with him? Hang up on him. Hello? He's out of his mind. This is just not. Yeah, that I mean, yeah, that went as well as I thought it'd go. The stress of planning a wedding is already starting to get to Mr. Laid Back. I've found my first grey hair. It's white. It's not even grey, it's white. I don't think it's a coincidence that it's popped up in the last couple of days. Don't don't plan a don't plan a wedding by yourself. This is what happens. It's best man Matt to the rescue. The Bucks night should relieve the stress. Uh, the only reason I agreed to do this is so I can organise the Bucks. Plus, you get to make Aaron look like an idiot. Thanks, Matt. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> yes! Yeah, Aaron! Who invited the pirate? <laughs> Meanwhile, Mel's at home and can only wonder what the boys are getting up to. Aaron and I hardly ever go out without each other, so I probably wouldn't even know what he would be like with his friends and without me. I'm pretty sure that you can get, like, marriages annulled, like, straight away if anything did really badly happen. Don't worry, Mel. What could happen at a football match? Yeah! 
The world's best lingerie football league athletes are here tonight. Sports mad Aaron must be in seventh heaven. Football and skinnily clad women. What more can you ask for for your bucks night, I guess? I think that easily Aaron will spend pretty much whatever he wants to make sure he has a good night. And backstage passes don't come cheap, as Aaron's bucks party has come in at a whopping two and a half thousand dollars. Faster! Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're the worst horse ever. <laughs> Coming up, will the biggest decision of Aaron's life... Deal. Done. ..push Mel over the edge? I seriously feel like I'm going to vomit. Look. Oh, my God! What can I say? <laughs> this may just be me pleading for my life, actually, this little pardon of execution. Oh, well. Aaron's now spent a week planning his winter wedding. Me and your cousin, we're getting married. Oh. Without any help from his fiancée, Mel. I'm not going if this is my invitation. Hang up on him. It's the morning after the Bucks party, and it was a football game the guys will never forget. Football, Andre, is pretty much the best sport... Yeah! ..ever invented. Unsurprisingly, they're feeling a little seedy. Hopefully I'm clear-headed enough to still make decent decisions today. Which is crucial today, of all days. As Aaron's off to buy Mel's wedding dress, perhaps the most important decision he'll have to make. It's so important to have a good dress, cos if I'm not looking good, then I'll just have a, such a terrible day. It's a decision a bride can spend months making. You've got to get this done quick, Matty. Yeah. Got to watch the footy. Footy's on in a couple of hours, so... Whatever we pick... It's make time it, consumed. Make it quick. <laughs> Just make it's it quick. got to be within time. Hi, how you going? Hello, how are you? Good, Good how thank are you? you. How can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for a wedding dress. OK. And have you got an idea of what you're after? Something like that up, actually, in the back left-hand corner. That one in the... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously. After an astounding eight seconds inside the shop, Aaron appears to have found the dress. It's one of our couture gowns. We make them in-house here. And that one's literally a one-off. Do you...? That tends to mean expensive. <laughs> this one is 3960 But it's a one-off couture gown. Yeah, that's, that's very nice, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's the biggest and most expensive. It must be the best. Meanwhile, Mel's off looking for her ideal wedding gown. She has no say over what Aaron chooses, but a girl can dream. Ooh. As usual, Mel's very specific about what she wants. What sort of gown are we after? I know that I don't want anything white. Okay. Anything short, like definitely long. I don't yeah. want a train. Flowy probably, but not big. Yeah, absolutely. <gasps> Do you like it? Oh. Oh, Melissa. <laughs> I, re I really like that one. <laughs> that, that is gorgeous. But it's so pretty. I love the fall. Oh, yeah, look absolutely. at the front of it. I just love that, like, sleek, classic, slimline dress. That is amazing. I really, really dislike, like, immensely that whole big, ugly, dark white look. You mean, like... Ooh, ah. Uh... I actually feel like a princess in this one. <laughs> You do look more like a princess in that one. <laughs> Every girl wants to feel like a princess. I'm a betting man, and I'll, I'll take a bet that she'll like that, so... But there's more than money on the line here. If I don't like the dress that Aaron picks, I, d I think that it will create some kind of misery on my wedding day. Oh, well. It just to look so beautiful. What can I say? <laughs> no pressure. Aaron has a total budget of 25 grand, but he lost track of his spending days ago. Maybe this might help the decision. Oh, is, it, is that beer? It's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go ahead with it, I would let you have it for three. At 3,000 bucks, it's an expensive impulse buy. All right, um, all right, deal, done. Wonderful, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
it's pretty nice. It's nice. Well, it'll be shit if she doesn't like it. Yeah. That'll suck, but... As long as we tell her it's the most expensive one in the store, she'll be all right. That will help. <laughs> the footy's on. <laughs> the footy's on. Speaking of that, let's oh, go. Jeez. <laughs> They've now been apart for a week and a half, and Mel's missing her man. Feels like this is the absolute longest three weeks of my life. Just want to give him a hug. It would be really nice. I don't know what he's thinking or um, how he's going. It's really really hard. Life without Aaron is not a life that I want to live anymore. Hopefully the hen's night will cheer you up, Mel. Yep, I'm freaking out. This is the worst I've felt so far. Maybe not. As the girls gather, Mel's expecting the worst because Aaron's organised the entire evening. Where do you think we're going? Um, what would be the worst place that he could have organised? Yeah, what would be the worst place? It's always, you know, like with naked people. <laughs> I don't want it to be about someone else's ass. Like, I want to have drinks with my girlfriend. <laughs> Even if it's just dinner or something like, lots of, like, cocktails, dinner. Mm. I don't know, something cool, yeah. The <laughs> phone's just gone off, guys. What is it? OK. It's a maxi taxi coming at 5.30. Good. You need to be at Retro Nightclub at 7pm for your burlesque dance lesson. Oh, yeah! That's really fun. <laughs> And grind and bump. One, two, three, four. Bump and grind and a bump and a grind and a bump and a grind. And the burlesque idea was great. Something different and fun and just silly. The dance lesson seems to be a hit. <laughs> but that plus one glow-in-the-dark cocktail... Cheers, cheers. ..is it. Are we going anywhere next? I don't, I don't know. know. Are we? OK, so you need to call Aaron. I think okay. you should call him. As she's not allowed to speak with Aaron for the entire three weeks, Mel insists that Amy calls for an explanation. Hi, Aaron. Um, we've we've finished the hens part of what you organised. Is there anything yes. else that you sorted out? No, look, as far as I'm aware, you're just enjoying the rest of your night, so you can go wherever you want. So no restaurant? No food? No. Looks like Aaron's got some explaining to do, as he only spent $500 on the hens night. I actually feel bad for my friends. I don't even feel sorry for myself. I feel bad that they've travelled, like, two hours in the rain, haven't eaten, and now we have nowhere to be, and we don't even have transport back home. Even Mother Hen's not impressed. I just think it's one bloody big joke. We're done now. I just want to get a taxi back home. At this rate, there may not be a wedding. is supposed to be organising the wedding his bride Mel has always dreamed of. But after a disastrous hen's night... I just think it's one bloody big joke. We're done now. He'll be lucky if Mel turns up at all. It's may just be me pleading for my life, actually, this letter, but uh, a pardon of execution or something. <laughs> Aaron sent his letter with a sweetener. <sighs> Dear Mel, it's now only a few days until I see you again. I love you more than anything and I've tried to keep you in mind every step of the way. So please keep this in mind if it isn't exactly what you would have planned. <sighs> I can't explain how much I miss you. Things just aren't the same when you're not around. I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle and become my wife. I just, I really just miss him a lot. <sighs> I'm definitely ready to go back to normal and get married and see each other again. 
It looks like the bride is coming to her wedding after all. Now the problem is how to get her to Threadbow on the big day. It's a seven hour drive which leaves no time for getting ready. So I've got an idea of how we get Mel down. She catches a private jet down to Kuma. <laughs> right? When did I when did I become Richard Branson? Yeah, just looking to charter a plane to Kuma Airport. Okay, what about if we did it for three four three two? That's a massive chunk of budget. All right, excellent. It looks like Mel's falling to the snow. That was pricey. So Aaron decides to skimp on the decorations. Everyone gets Green Bay pack and nerf things. <laughs> Little angry Hulk. Well, Mel says I'm like the Hulk. Yeah, but will she want him on her wedding cake? He's Barbie bride. That's cool. Bridesmaids dresses next. could possibly be the worst day of my life. I really like the colour of this jacket, actually. They're just finding stuff that they want to wear at other times. Unless you're going to wear that as your bridesmaid's dress, don't pick it up. Oh, that's fantastic. Do you, like do, you do you really like it? If you like them, I like them. After a change of colour, it's a done deal. That's what it'll look like in that. Oh, oh check us out. Yeah. The budget's almost spent but sports mad Aaron has enough cash for one last indulgence. All right, uh, we're up to rings. Mm. I've got an idea of what I want. I don't want to know it. <laughs> Tell right. me that doesn't look cool. Look at that. But That's... It says Super Bowl ring, not wedding ring. That's right. Aaron is looking at making an American football ring his wedding ring. Mel's going to love that. One of my biggest concerns is that I would have a sports-themed wedding, <laughs> even if it was like... As a joke, that would not be OK. This is what happens when you get your future husband to plan your wedding. The budget is spent. There's only one day until the biggest day of Aaron's life so far. With time running out, the guys head to Threadbow, where they'll try and set up the entire wedding themselves. Meanwhile, Mel's gone to see the dress she'll be married in. The one Aaron spent eight seconds choosing. That one's a bit insane. I don't want that one. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Yeah. Right from the start, Mel's made it clear the dress could be a deal breaker. Oh, I'm so nervous. It's not even funny. I seriously feel like I'm having an anxiety attack. I can't breathe. I, I think we'll be surprised. Hi ladies, how are you? I'm Kel. Mel. Hi Kel, I'm Amy. Hi Amy, nice to meet you both. Now your fiance has actually requested that you be blindfolded. I literally feel like I'm going to vomit. Yeah. It's, it's fine, you can vomit into my bag and oh, then we'll go yeah. look how amazing the dress looks. Yeah. You right, Dom? Follow me. You right? Mm -hmm. It may be the most expensive dress in the shop. But it's way off Mel's dream dress, a streamlined vintage look. There we go. OK. I don't want to let go of your hands. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. I don't want to look. 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 Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <sighs> That's so crazy. I love it. You like yeah. it? I love it. Oh, good. You look amazing. <laughs> I think it takes a little bit to get used to. <laughs> Looks awesome. I absolutely love it. It's completely amazing. Like, it literally feels like a fairy tale dress. You look like a princess. You do. <laughs> you totally do. <laughs> He's done brilliantly. This fills me with confidence. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> The dress is a hit, but wait till Mel finds out she'll be wearing it in the snow. Flowers, thank God we're here. Last thing to do, eh? Your last night of freedom. Yep. Last night of freedom. You and me sitting around, a bunch of flowers. Outside, the temperature has plummeted to well below zero. Hello? Hey, now, just to let you know, we've hit um, a little bit of a snag with aircraft tomorrow. What's the snag, if you don't mind me asking, Gerald? The snag is the weather. We are not allowed to fly aircraft like the Chieftain into known icing conditions. 
So we've got the Cessna Citation Mustang. That's our private jet that is available. Yeah, uh, what's that going to cost me, dude? That's an extra $1,200 on top of the chief. It's the night before my wedding. I don't have 1200 bucks. If Aaron doesn't fork out his own cash, it'll be a wedding with no bride. 1200 is an absolute rock bottom price. It is, it is. We've trimmed it right down for you. I'll transfer money tonight. Thanks, Aaron. Cheers. If she can't get down here tomorrow, what non-extradition country do you feel like escaping <laughs> to? Brazil's nice. Coming up. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Will Mel make it to the altar? I'm not going to fit in there. This is ridiculous. Before the guests freeze. Come on. <sighs> Just hurry up. If you want to join the conversation about tonight's show or even make your own Winter Wonderland wedding, head to ten.com.au forward slash don't tell the bride. It's the morning of the big day. Mel's been getting ready since 6am and she's thinking about her husband-to-be. I think Aaron's probably not feeling nervous yet. He probably doesn't even feel like we're doing this today. He's probably just chilling out. He's probably hungover. Not on his wedding day, surely. Nervous? No. Just hungover? This day, yeah. At least she knows what she's signing up for. We're officially late. Yeah. And I'm still not dressed. But now she has to see the bridesmaid dresses, her first taste of what's in store. I'm a bit nervous about them, actually. Oh my god! <laughs> Turn around, spin. Oh, you look lovely. Yay. All right, Aaron, that's a gold star on the bridesmaids' dresses. Well, three weeks is down to today. Yeah, well, I won't see what happens when she turns up. If, if she it turns up. <laughs> <laughs> she better get moving if she's going to make it to the ceremony by 2 pm. And a dress this big calls for a car. This big. Oh my oh, god, that's so cool! Yes! That's so cool! Oh. My dress does need a stretch hummer. Never mind a hummer, how about a warm coat? Oh, yes! This is like a dream. Oh, yay! Mel still has no idea she's heading to the snow. Cheers, ladies. Yay. We're still heading to the direction of the city. Yes. We're going towards the CBD. Might be of the Clues house. Aww. Oh. Think again, Mel. It's chilly. <laughs> and that's down Hello, here. Ken. It's a clear day. Threadbow's having its coldest day of the year so far. And Mel's mood is about to get arctic. Look at the sign. It says Sydney, Sydney Metro, Metro Airport. Airport. We're at an airport. <laughs> We're at an airport. <laughs> really? Her mystery trip has brought her to a small airport. Hoping that he's flying me somewhere nice and warm. <gasps> Hi, how are you going? Hi. Welcome. Do you tell us where to go or what to do? What we're doing here? Can do. I've got this for you, though. OK. This may have an indication as to where you're off to okay. today. OK. What is it? No idea. <gasps> oh, my oh, God! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my... Oh, my God, we're going Emma. to the snow. We're going to the snow in a oh dress! Gosh, these are your With shoes! nothing on the top! It... I better be indoors. At least there's a red carpet for her walk down the aisle. Mel knows the worst now. It's a wedding in the snow. Oh my God, this, this is, is exactly what Aaron right. would do. There's just one obstacle in the way. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to fit in there. <laughs> Shut up! Has Aaron ever seen a plane like this? <laughs> Ridiculous. The dress is going to be falling apart before he even gets it. 
in Threadbow. Okay. Aaron is flying high, smartening up his reception venue. And himself. But his bride isn't flying anywhere. I don't know what we're waiting for. Traffic? Air traffic? Oh, OK, have they taken off yet, though? Plane's been delayed. They're going to be taking off in about 15 minutes. It's a one-and-a-half-hour flight to Cooma and the same again by car to Threadbow. This wedding could be happening in the dark. Try not to think of worst-case scenarios, which would obviously be Mel not being able to get here to get married because it's now too late in the afternoon to even get it down here. Two hours behind schedule... Mel's plane finally takes off. Oh, I didn't really want something... Like, this feels like a... Feels like I'm on a ride on my wedding day. <laughs> oh, if I didn't already want to throw up, I definitely want to throw up now. Oh, my God. Get shaken up like a milkshake before you walk down the aisle. Mel, you OK? Deep breath. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The girls finally land in sunny Cooma. It's that wind. Yeah. There's, like, it's ice, ice in the wind. <laughs> well, they're not going to like it at Balmy Threadbow, where the guests have started to arrive. It's freezing, isn't it? Um, take a seat somewhere. Um... Maybe at some time on my bride oh. shot. But Mel is still on the road. If I don't have a drink soon, I might pass out. Oh. Cheers to nearly at the wedding again. Yay. Cheers to travelling. It's now late in the afternoon and the temperature's dropped to minus two degrees, testing the friends and family. Oh, I can't feel my fingers. <sighs> I'll bet bridesmaid Jess is glad she got the job of greeting guests. Oh, my gosh. Where's Mel? <laughs> Mars. She could be on friggin' Mars at the moment. Who knows? Okay. Hang in there, Nana. Where is she? Just hurry up. It's four in the afternoon in Threadbow and the temperature is now minus two. Come on. After a seven-hour journey by Hummer... Cheers, lady. Yay. ..plane and van... There's snow everywhere. There is. <laughs> I'm so excited. Mel's finally arrived at her wedding. Looks like we're getting married. But will she feel the love? We're just doing it right here outside. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be freezing. Oh, please be just a little happy. After three turbulent weeks apart. Aaron and Mel are finally reunited to be married. And I'm sorry. You better be. We're here in this magnificent and very cold mountain setting <laughs> to witness the marriage of Aaron and Melissa. I will cherish our union. And will adore you every day. And will adore you every day. <laughs> I promise to be your best friend. Regardless of the obstacles we may face together. <laughs> Regardless of the obstacles we may face together. <laughs> Matthew, could you please give Melissa Aaron's ring? What's that look? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I saw him. I saw him. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Aaron, please accept this ring that you love. <laughs> As my promise of my love and trust. As my promise of my love and trust. Aaron, you may kiss your beautiful bride. I love you so much. I was very, very frustrated getting here, but when I finally got here, it was totally worth it. It's a beautiful backdrop, and I'm just really happy to see Aaron, really. I'm just happy to see Aaron and be married and go somewhere warm now. 
So Aaron's got away with his winter wedding. Come on, let's go inside! <laughs> Come on! Can't feel my fingers. But will Mel think his reception is a wonderland? Oh, my God, it's so pretty. Oh, that's so nice. This room looks so pretty. Oh, that's so cool. Stop it. Yay! Aaron's done an incredible job. And this is... Uh... What is that? It's the Hulk. Maybe too incredible. I'm the Hulk, remember? You so are the Hulk. <laughs> but you've made something so pretty look... Awesome. I'm so happy to be here now, be with Aaron and in this gorgeous location. It is stunning. Thank you. It's so awesome. And as the guests thaw out, they all agree that Aaron's nailed it. I can't tell you how proud I am of Aaron. Today has been one of the most special days I've had in my life. <laughs> Incredible. So here's to love, laughter and happily ever after. Cheers. Aaron has totally pulled this wedding so off. Good. Unbelievable. I it didn't matter what me and Aaron did today, as long as she looked pretty and Aaron turned up smart, it's just a true testament to their relationship that they're meant to be together. Yeah, it's been a tough three weeks. It's, it is the hardest thing I've done. Obviously, Mel was beautiful coming down the aisle, but um, it was very good to see her again. I'm glad that none of us froze to death out in the wilderness today. And I just hope that despite the fact that uh, you didn't get to plan it, I hope that you understand that I did it out of love. And, um, yeah. It's just nice to be cementing everything that we've always had together. So it's, it's you know. Kiss, kiss the ring. No. We're getting a new ring. Ah, that's so cool! It's all planned. This is for you, man. It is perfect. It is. It's happy ever after for the princess and her Hulk. Next time on Don't Tell the Bride. <laughs> the main idea for the wedding is like a music festival. Party animal Jason is organising a festival for his more traditional bride, Taryn. My worst nightmare would be if we didn't have the St. Rainier Church. He comes in, she'll see two portal loose. I love it. I think he might be spending money on the wrong things. <laughs> but will his bride come to the party? <laughs> I'm over weddings, I don't even want to get married. Would you let these men plan your entire wedding? It's not about the bride, this wedding's about me. These brave Aussie brides have given control of the biggest day of their lives <laughs> to their grooms. If he gets it wrong, and I'll be telling him about it for the rest of our lives. They get $25,000. I think he might be spending money on the wrong things. And three weeks. This could be the worst day of my life. To pull off the big day. I'm over weddings, I don't even want to get married. If I lose the parents, she'll never have me. Will the grooms give her a wedding to remember? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Or a nightmare to forget? Oh, my God! <laughs> I literally feel like I'm going to vomit. It's not going to be OK. Whatever you do, don't tell the bride. I just think it's one bloody big joke. Tonight, party animal Jason... <laughs> to a wedding. ...wants to rock bride-to-be Taryn's world. It better not be nightclub kind of thing. DJ, party with a music festival wedding. Playing a wedding, we're playing a festival. Wedstival. Wedstival. That's it. But can he pull off the main event with two groomsmen who just want a party? Cheers. Hey. And a budget that's out of control. Do you have rings at like $50? Can this man... We have to get like a kind of bra then. ..give this woman... He's got to remember it's my day. It's not what I expected. 
most special day of her life. Comes in, she'll see two portal moves. I love it. They say true love can be found in the most unexpected places. A sentiment our first couple, Jason and Taryn, would definitely agree with. Their love story began three years ago when they first laid eyes on each other amongst thousands of party goers at an annual music festival. So tonight, our brave groom, Jason, plans to dedicate his love by recreating that very first encounter. Question is, will our very traditional bride, Taryn, appreciate a wedding of epic proportions? An emotional 24-year-old Taryn is saying her goodbyes to 25-year-old fiancé, Jason. He's moving out for three weeks to plan their wedding. <laughs> Don't hit your shirt. <laughs> Who's gonna wash it? The happy couple have been together for three years. Butter? Uh, just a little bit. Taryn does everything for her man, including making his lunch every day. I pick up after him. He's got all his clothes washed. I look after all the bills, the groceries. I give Jason his allowance each month. Everyone says once we're married, it's gonna stop. <laughs> I promised him it won't stop. Hence the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Jason and Taryn met at the music festival Park Life. When we first met, Jason actually tried to kiss me in line for the toilets, which is really charming. Romantic. Well, classy. Yeah, definitely. A classy guy, but you didn't get a kiss. No. What is it? But... Treat him mean, keep him keen. <laughs> How are the pancakes going? Good. Now this party couple has settled down. Fire alarm. Great cooking, Jay. They're living with Jason's parents. I'm really excited and I hope they'll have a baby straight away after they're married. That seems to be the plan. The other bedroom could be for the babies. As they're okay. saving to build their own home. Dream house, dream man, hopefully dream wedding. <laughs> but could Jason's dream be Taryn's nightmare? The main idea for the wedding is to have like a music festival recreate the moment where Taryn and I met. Loud music, DJs playing, everyone having a good time. I'm a little worried and nervous about Jason planning the wedding. He can get carried away quite easily. Love you. Love you. <laughs> it's time for Jason and Taryn to say goodbye. She says that she's got a lot of faith in me, but I think she's got a lot of doubt. Be good. <laughs> I think if I don't get it right, I'll wear it for the rest of my life. <laughs> The next time they see each other will be at the altar. <laughs> Maid of Honor Lisa and groomsman Brendan are also splitting up for three weeks. Help him, don't drink too much. Oh, what? Lisa is moving in with Taryn. Taryn, Lisa's here. Oh. <laughs> hey, buddy. And Jason is moving oh, no. in with Brendan. To a wedding. To a wedding, three weeks. Knock, knock. Along yeah. with other groomsmen, Jason's cousin, Michael. Brought the important stuff. I want to shake your hand, but I've already started. Jason has left a love note for Taryn to remember him by. Taryn, I just wanted to say and let you know how much I love you and I'm already missing you. I'm a crier. There'll be tears in this three weeks, so I get emotional at anything. <laughs> I'll always love you forever and a day. Lots of love, Jason, soon to be husband. <laughs> Oh, I mean so much. He's still going to be thinking of me, not just partying. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, boys. Let's do it. Let's rock and roll. Living with the boys is going to be fun. Another beer? Uh-huh. Please. Please. No one to tell us to stop drinking, planning the wedding. Should be good fun. Cheers. Enjoy. Work. It's all out of our hands, which is kind of scary. <laughs> then the wedding, you want to have it like a festival. Sort of like you know, where Taryn and I first met. That's Music cool. cranking. I don't like themed weddings. It's not my thing at all. Poor little toilet, off. yeah. Just maybe I don't know about the shirts yeah. off. <laughs> it, it is still a wedding, but what yeah. we're trying to do, you know, whether we have a bubble machine or a foam pit or something like that. I like the intimate feel to a wedding. That's what I always pictured. So very intimate, close family and friends. How many people are you thinking around? Well, I'd sort of take a guess, you know, upwards of about 120. 
I don't think they actually realise how much stuff they have to do. No. We're going to make like a wedding. They're going to say, get effed, how'd they do this? It's the first day of wedding planning. So the boys are having a sleep in. Even Brendan's dogs, Nacho and Salsa, are finding it all just too tiring. Meanwhile, Taryn's up early to go check out Bather's Pavilion, the reception venue she'd choose if she had a say in her wedding. It's perfect. It's exactly you what I pictured. Hey. Oh, that's beautiful. I'd really like the reception by the water because it's a big part of my life. I've grown up in Wollongong and there's water around, so it means a lot to me for that laid-back atmosphere by the water. I like... if it's not like this. I'd be so sad. I'd be so sad. Looks like we'll have a sad bride then. We have where the tents, yeah, tents uh -huh. and marquee can be. Jason's come to Mount Annan, southwest of Sydney, to find the perfect festival field. We've got seating areas over there. You know, that could be the designated smoking area. We have a separate DJ over here. But there is some water, Taryn. Guys, it's, yeah, it's still a bit damp, so <laughs> a little bit sloppy, mate. Right? Jason's on a roll and the ideas just keep coming. Boys, we're thinking, you know, we're planning a wedding, we're planning a festival, sort of combine the two, you know, set up a full, you know, a full festival. That's it. Hey? Nice you know, <laughs> cars. Team Extreme. I suppose it's a team name. I don't, we haven't really discussed it though, have we? No, it's just... I just on. sort of throw it out when I get a bit excited, that's all. So it's a festival brought to you by Team Extreme. Any other ideas? Um, we could have a week off. Now Jason's found his field, he needs to fill it. Um, Let's think outside the box. Team Extreme. It is really cute. Back at Bather's Pavilion, Taryn's still dreaming of her perfect reception. It's really got that feel, the intimate feel that it I does. want. And I would picture lots of candles and just beautiful flowers and nice intimate feel to it. He's got to remember it's my day. It might be your day, but it's Jason's choice that counts when it comes to the reception. So you have the ceremony in this, would you cut? Do you think first Probably horse? the reception. Reception. I keep getting them mixed up. It does feel spacious, though, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's got Wedstival written all over it. It has tent written all over it. What do you reckon? Taryn will think. Do you reckon she'll like it? I reckon she'll be shocked, that's for sure. An emotion every bride hopes to experience on their wedding day. Do you think that Jason will pick something like this? Intimate tables in the no. middle? He's no. going to have a nightclub party. It better not be a nightclub kind of thing. I like that bar. I love that bar. It's even got fancy lights and stuff in it. Come on, Taryn. You've got to have a light-up bar at a Wednesday and a DJ tent and a chill-out lounge. It's got a good uh, festival feel about it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah very much so. I reckon. DJ, drinks, party. I will kill him if he ruins this for you. Bang, Sounds bang, good, boys. Huh? Good work. Look. Team Extreme. Blissfully unaware his life's in danger, Jason books the DJ tents and the giant teepee for nearly half his total budget. I don't think it'd be something that Taryn would really expect. I, I no, it's it's a bit of a gamble. I think, I think the whole the whole Wednesday's a bit of a gamble, really. Oh but yeah, I think it's going to be a big risk. Yeah, I love it all. I, I think it's great. I think we're going to do a mad wedding. Coming up, <laughs> Jason spends big. Twelve dollars twenty-five a head. There's not much I can trim off it though. Yeah. Team Extreme. The Bucks night goes large. And the hen's night gets a small surprise. Ooh, what the <laughs> there you go, go on. Cheers. To a wedding. To a wedding. Party animal Jason's organising a Wednesday. Music cool. cranking, poor loo toilet. That's a wedding like a music festival. DJ, drinks. For his beachy bride, Taryn. He's got to remember it's my day. He's got 25 grand, three weeks. We could have a week off. And two helpers. Team Extreme. So far, he's found a field, a teepee, and some side tents. What more could a girl want? I think we're going to do a mad wedding. Back at Bather's Pavilion. We have a pan seared barramundi. Taryn's getting a taste of their typical wedding menu. Oh, let's dig in. Oh. Huh. I love the fancy food. I think, yeah, this is you. This is definitely you. Yeah. While Taryn tucks in to fine dining... Jason's come to an industrial estate to check out a catering company. 
we've got a bit of a Greek salad. And then over here, we've just got a really popular um, creamy pasta salad. And that's the tropical rice. Beautiful, because it's really colorful. Toasted brioche and a verjuice jelly. Oh, wow. The food I'd pick for the wedding would be not p things people have every day. I wouldn't pick chicken snitchels and things like that. I would go a bit more fancier. But Jason's not a fancy kind of guy. Hey, it's good and it's delicious. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I love the rice. I'm glad to see you boys enjoying it. <laughs> yes, I'm hungry. You just scoff at that, like a seagull. For the food at the reception, I'd spend around $100 to $110 per head. What we'd be looking at for 121 people is $12.25 a head. There's not much I can trim off it, though. Yeah. It's up to you. That's we do fun. offer plenty of food on the day. All right, let's, um, let's book it in. Book it in? Yeah. All right. All right, cool. Let's do business. Right. That's yeah. been a pleasure. High five your belly and seem happy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. So instead of a three-course gourmet supper, Taryn gets pub grub in a tent. I'm sure she'll be fine with that. I think you're pretty safe with the food. Yeah, definitely. After the restaurant, Taryn moves on to St Peter's Church in Watson's Bay. This is her vision of the perfect place to be married. Oh, wow. Are you going to cry? She's going to cry. I know she will. <laughs> My worst nightmare would be if we didn't have the ceremony at church just because that's somewhere that I've always pictured myself getting married and I do think it makes the wedding more special. How about the Church of God's natural wonders? Pretty good. This is pretty Jason's good. back at Mount Annan to find the best spot to say I do. Who's the bride? Shotgun. <laughs> it looks like there's plenty of room. It's a nice background. She can come through the back. So That's different. something different, and then she'll see everyone, and then just be like, whoa, yeah, this is where I'm at. It's my wedding. You better get a church. Sorry, Taryn. That's it. You haven't got a prayer. Right. Team Huddle. This looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey? I'm happy. The boys decide to celebrate their hard work with a few beers. The hen's night's coming up, so it's the bucks. What are, the, what are our plans for the hen's night? A fat stripper. <laughs> Got something better. It's Taryn's hen's night, and the girls have gathered. Hello. Hello. Let's just get messy, and hopefully it's a good night. <laughs> Cheers. Yay. With no idea what Jason has in store for them. How you going, girls? Hi. 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 How's Laura doing? Hi. Mini J. <laughs> that is awesome. That's right. As a gift to the girls, Jason has sent a mini version of himself with a love letter for his blushing bride. Hey, babe, I just want you to know that I love you so much. <laughs> I also want you to know I am missing you like crazy. I cannot wait for the next week to pass till I see you come down the aisle. Oh, don't cry. I hope all you girls have a great night tonight. I hope my little surprise kicks off, which is, oh, don't worry about that. I love you. Attention girls, Jason has sent us this great bus to go down to the city, Woo! to the rocks, so let's go party and let's Woo! Looks like Jason is splashing the cash on his bride-to-be. He spent $400 booking a 56-seater coach for 14 people and $600 buying mini Jace for two hours. Should be a great night. No bathtub! <laughs> well, he had to cut corners somewhere, girls. Do you want to know how much he spent? How much? A thousand dollars. I think he might be spending money on the wrong things. I'm scared. I'm scared too. A thousand dollars for tonight. For a midget. <laughs> Still to come. 
<laughs> the boys go dress shopping. Look for something that's sort of princessy. And so do the you girls. Want, I don't want to be Cinderella. <laughs> And Jason's faced with an angry bridesmaid. Would you like to come home to find your house trashed because your dogs can't even go outside? Get the f out, Jason. Your wedding, <laughs> extreme. Team Extreme are eight days and about 80 beers into their quest to plan Jason and Taryn's Wedstival. They're lining up a photographer for those treasured memories. I can do your wedding for free. Thank you so, so, so much. What do you think Taryn's going to think about a free photographer? <laughs> Today, the boys are getting in touch with their feminine side. To the dress shop. Let's do it. They're shopping for the wedding dress. No, I don't like anything that's too big and puffy or anything like that, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah. Whether um, Taryn wanted something like that, I don't know. Jason never had style before, so I have to give him a little bit of guidance. He doesn't buy anything without me being there. What worries me about picking the dress is picking the right dress. Everyone knows that at a wedding, everything's about the dress for the girls. So if I don't get the dress right, we're not going to have a good wedding. That's the pressure. All right, boys, the moment. There's <laughs> <laughs> a lot to choose from. Where do you start? So look for something that's sort of princessy, white, nothing too full on. You don't want, I don't want to risk too much. Really, that really slims it down, doesn't it, Jason? <laughs> Why not? Thanks. Thanks. You won't even Ooh. see Taryn in that dress. Yeah, no. Nah. What I'm about this basic. stuff? Do you want this stuff on it? <laughs> Where do you? Jesus. I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 no. This is too hard. I'm feeling pretty overwhelmed, actually. I thought it might come in there be about 15, 20 dresses. We've got a couple hundred. What about Anything? this one, Cuz? No. Nah. <laughs> While Jason dithers about dresses, Taryn's come to a bridal boutique with her bridesmaid and future mother-in-law. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh, my goodness. She'll have no control over the dress she wears on her big day. That's up to Jason. The dress is my biggest concern. It would make the whole day or ruin the whole day if the dress was wrong. Ooh. Hello. No, this one. What type of style are you looking for? Um, I'd like the tight dress, maybe the mermaid style, but definitely... Hang <laughs> on. I think she needs to get at least one dress, being a princess one. OK. Just so I can yeah. see her. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look like she'll even have control of what to try on today. What do you think, boys? That's nice. Princessy. Hmm. I wonder if Mum's been having a quiet word in Jason's ear. Maybe you should try some on the model. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I really like that this looks, one. That looks pretty good. When I put it on, I just felt pretty, you know? While the boys mess around... Are you ready? Taryn's gotten serious. Seriously in love with this dress. Oh, babe. What do you think? You look so I love good. it. It's tight. It is tight. It's got the little flare, though. I found my perfect dress. It was fit and flare, so it was very, very tight most of the way through. I felt really confident. I felt like a woman, not a little girl. So it's definitely what I want to get married in. You look beautiful. Thanks. And um, what style of dress is that called? It's a fit and flare, a fishtail style. Like a mermaid. Yes. Great. Jason's on the same page. That's the one I chose. Yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah, I like that one. No. Jason likes this, would like this bit. He likes the hips. Darren's got, like, much wider hips than our model, and that'll really sort of go out like that. I wish she doesn't take that the wrong way. No, I love Darren's hips. <laughs> yeah, they're always good on a woman. They don't lie, do they? My missus got good hips too, actually. <laughs> We're talking about that. Uh, yeah, no to the fish tail. Never mind, Taryn. Why don't you try on that princess dress, the one your mother-in-law adores? Oh, Taryn. I love it. Do you? What do you think? I feel a bit like a little kid playing dress up. Yeah. I don't know, I think I prefer the other one. So no to princess dresses. That is clear. That's nice. It is nice. I like how it's yeah, smaller, like, into there and then out. 
The price of the gown is 2420 I don't think Jason would actually like this dress. It's very princessy, which is not really me. Can we go with that, please? Oh, definitely. All right, perfect. We found the dress. She's going yeah. to Thank you. All right. We got the dress, huh? Hey, we got a tick. Hey, that's a big tick. Woo. Couldn't be happier. Got got a big tick off that list. Pretty happy with the dress. We spent a little bit more than we would have liked, but you know, happy with the decision. Trying to think that Taryn won't like it. I'm pretty sure she will. I don't want to be Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> Now he's picked the dress, Jason's got weightier matters on his mind. Question. That girl's um, boobs are pretty big, right? Yes. Yeah. Terry is definitely not as big no. as that girl's. You'd really have to get like a kind of bra that machine. I think you'd need a, a strapless will... push-up bra. Why, no, once they do that fitting, cars, that, will, that thing will push up her boobs. Yeah, but a push-up bra will fills in the bottom and brings the natural boob at the top, oh. and that's what you want. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, ladies. They're taken. Cheers. Hi, day wedding planning. Yeah. Yeah. So now the boys have a venue and a dress. Time to celebrate. Yeah. Can we please get another three VBs, please? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. This is the best part about wedding planning. Yes. Beers, beers at the end of the day. Here's to limitless beers without the worry of the girls. Yes. It's 8 a.m. And after a massive night out, Brendan's missing in action forcing Jason to sleep in his truck. Brendan's girlfriend, Lisa, comes to the rescue. Hi. Oh. Am I going to have to beat you? But she's not happy about the state of her house. Look at all your mess. If Tara knew that this was happening, she would be furious. No way. Really? Because do you want to speak to her right now? I'd love to. Would you like to come home to find your house trashed because your dogs no. can't even go outside? Did you see how much <laughs> is everywhere? They couldn't even go outside to go to the toilet. Get the out, Jason. If he didn't have a headache before, he's got one now. Lisa heads back to Taryn with a tale to tell. It was disappointing to know that they've had that time and they've just been out getting drunk and carrying on like they do when they're meant to be planning a wedding. The ever-sensitive Michael can see the girl's point of view. We had one night's rest and apparently we shouldn't have. She goes, this shouldn't happen, you should grow up. <sighs> she would definitely be filling up Taryn's ears with a lot of... Da, 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 da. They'd be worried both. As if they wouldn't be worried. It's me, you and Jason planning the wedding. <laughs> up next, oh, the boys play around on the Bucks night. And Jason goes bridesmaid shopping. I don't really think Taryn's going to like them. With a hangover. Oh, I'm over weddings. I don't even want to get married. There's just a few days to go before the wedding. Stress levels out of 10 is probably a 9.45. After spending about half his budget on tents and a field, almost two and a half grand on a dress, and $1,000 on a mini Jason a bus, Jason's running out of funds. All we can do is hope we can just scrape in, maybe. Don't worry, Team Extreme, think positive, mate. He's already snapped up a photographer for free. Photographer! time. But now Jason's focusing on another Wedstiful Essential, his own photo booth. Let's do it. Let's $990 well spent. I love you, but you're stupid. It's money that could have gone elsewhere, but like what? It's your wedding. Exactly. Well, you can't put a price on memories. And what Wedstable is complete without your own ice cream van? Mm, so good. So good. Can we lock you, mate? Yeah, no worries, mate. Let's do it. Good you, Jason. <laughs> Another good choice by Team Extreme. Next stop, shoes. Taryn and I like the same size thong. Do you reckon that means we're the same size shoe? Yeah, you should be pretty similar. Shoes for Taryn, that is, Jason. $500 on sparkly satin shoes. She'd be better off in gum boots. Yeah, it's still a bit damp, so a little bit slushy, right? Finally, wedding rings. A symbol of their lifelong commitment. Do you have rings that aren't wedding band rings but look like rings and they're like $50? $50, I can show you silver. Can I look? How much money do you think he'd spend on the wedding bands? If it was me, for both of them, I wouldn't spend more than like 
1500 for both. How much is that? For you. Good to see you get your priorities right, Jason. The postman finally pays Taryn a visit. Taryn, I've got invites. Open it, open it, open it. OK. Ooh, look here. Oh! Yay! <laughs> Any idea where it could be? I don't know. It doesn't of... give anything I away. Know. It doesn't give anything. Saturday, Saturday. As Taryn <laughs> dreams of her big day, the boys are dreaming of a big night. <laughs> <laughs> a quiet game of golf's in order for the Bucks. Nah, nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Go, go, go. Oh. Oh. That's what it's all about. Two back stream. Seems like golf's left them feeling under par. Yeah, at the moment, I say my mind feels like scrambled eggs with a bit of chilli sauce. The best bit of last night was just seeing Jason happy. Yeah, the stripper, she was dynamite. Yeah, I was a little bit worried with his reaction with the stripper. Yeah, I think he held it together pretty good. Did I say the strip arrow? Or... That was good. And then all the, the, the drinks and dancing and cheering. Yeah, it was an awesome night. Voice or no voice, Jason's got a big day ahead of him. Bridesmaid shopping. <sighs> yeah, no. Nah. Nah. Just don't know if I like the flower the thing flower, on it. Yeah. yeah. Don't like the red. Yeah, I did. Just, just crook. Oh, I'm feeling pretty average, eh? I'm, you know, I'm sick. And shopping's been chaotic today. I feel a bit stressed and a bit overwhelmed. <gasps> it's all right, we're getting there. I like this one. Thank God. So we found dresses. Good work, team. Us. Take another one off the list. I don't really think Taryn's going to like them. Jason's not taking the criticism lightly. Oh, I'm over weddings. I don't even want to get married. I overheard Lisa saying that she didn't think Taryn was going to like the dresses. It's probably got me to be a bit of a downer. I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. After hearing comments like that, I'm just. Yeah, I'm not sure whether Taryn's going to like the, the wedding at all, so... Questioning everything that I've done and why I'm doing it, so, yeah, a bit of a downer, actually. I feel sick. Coming up... It's different. <laughs> will it be frock shock when Taryn tries on her dress? It's not what I expected. And will Cinderella go to this ball? I'm in church. I know what he's in a church. If you want to join the conversation about tonight's wedding or even create your own Wedstable, head to 10.com.au forward slash don't tell the bride. It's the day before the wedding and Taryn's about to see the dress Jason's chosen for her for the first time. I'm so nervous. How excited are so you? I'm nervous now. Jason's feeling pretty nervous too. He had a dream about Taryn trying on the dress and uh, she didn't like it at all and all hell broke loose. I don't know if I really call it a dream, but maybe it was a bit of a nightmare. The dress is really important. It's the dress, the one that every girl dreams about since I was little. I feel sick. Oh, <laughs> don't be sick. Taryn's dream dress was a tight-fitting fishtail. It's got the little flare. I hope the dress would be fitted. I don't want puffy. But Jason's gone for the princess look, the style Taryn rejected. I don't want to be Cinderella. <laughs> um. 
different. <laughs> it's a bit poofy. I wasn't expecting that, but... It will look different on? Yeah. I'm very worried. I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't like it on. I'll probably cry. <laughs> it might not be the only thing you're crying about. Okay. Is there any poo in there, or...? Team Extreme is setting up the Webstable. And Jason's trying to recreate the moment he and Taryn met outside a portaloo. We're going over here, eh? Yeah, yeah back, back. Taryn would love that. As soon as she comes in, she'll see two portaloos. I love it. Back at the bridal shop, the girls are about to see the dress on for the first Market time. Princessy. I don't know what I think. Oh, babe. Oh, no. It's not what I expected. I don't know. I, I don't know. Can you see yourself walking down the aisle <laughs> tomorrow in that? I can, actually. I actually think I like it. Phew. That was close. That's so good. You're getting married tomorrow. You pulled my hair. Oh, 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 oh. I'm happy. I'm Excellent. happy. I'm happy you're happy. Time for the finishing touch. Oh, oh because you're so No, no way. <laughs> oh, my God. And they're a perfect fit for Cinderella. Try not to get mud all over them. I'm very happy. He did so well with everything he got for me. I'm very, very happy. I yeah. can't wait to see what he's done for tomorrow. Me too. Oh, I can't wait now. I'm so excited. Yeah. It's Jason's last night of freedom, and Team Extreme are in a reflective mood. Beanie on. I've spent three weeks no sleeping, bad eating, stress, just, you know, getting, trying to get this day right for Taryn. I couldn't have done this look to taste, and I mean that. Thanks, bro. It's, it's meant a lot. Cheers. Cheers to that. All for love. It's the morning of the ceremony. Not a bad first attempt. And the boys are already back on the beers. I'm learning how to tie a knot off YouTube. Is it helping you? Well, I've been around backwards already. Finish Take it. it. Finish it, Jay. You're done. It's a wedding day today. Very excited. Jason's called in favours, sending Taryn an army of beauticians to get her ready. Are the girls nearly ready? Time for Taryn to get a first look at the bridesmaid dresses. Walk over there. Oh. And they've got little boats. Oh, I'm so happy you're oh, happy. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Look how excited she's getting. Just loop yours, Michael. I can't loop. Meanwhile, the boys have arrived at the Webstable to add some finishing touches. Love it. Oh, that's great. Look at the way he's done that. Great to get everyone just spread out. We're putting this... Mr and Mrs Carr. Scary thought. Love it. We'll be in about an hour. That'll do, don't care. That'll do. You ready? Yeah! Oh, oh Taz, you so look so good. Hello, oh, Cinderella. Oh, <laughs> Jason also surprises Taryn with a rock star ride to take her to the ceremony. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> Come on, baby. <gasps> Do you think we're going? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm a bit worried. Me too. Where do you think Actually, we are? In the bloody bush? We're in the bushland. As they near Mount Annan, Taryn gets a first glimpse of where she's getting married. It's not a church. I know what he's in a church. It's not the beach either. I know. It's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hey, it's all right. Hey, the whole point is, is that you get to marry Jason. But will no church mean no wedding for Jason? It's one o'clock 
and Jason's waiting nervously for his bride to arrive at Mount Annan. Can you see anything that looks like a church or what? No. But will Taryn give him her blessing when she realises it's not a church wedding? Who cares? Church, garden, bushland. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Hey, it's all right. The whole point is what? Marrying Jason. What's the whole point? <laughs> Tell me again. Marrying Jason. <laughs> After three chaotic weeks apart, Jason and Taryn are about to tie the knot. Jason stand before us to dedicate their lives to each other. Jason has actually written the vows for both himself and Taryn today. <laughs> Jason, you're my partner. My other half and soulmate. My other half and soulmate. I promise to always make your lunch. <laughs> oh, I was going to say that! <laughs> <laughs> I promise to always make your lunch. I'm excited to have you the head of our household. <laughs> I'm excited to have you the head of our household. I now have great pleasure in pronouncing you husband and wife. It actually didn't matter that it wasn't here in the church. As soon as I saw him, I was just very, very happy. <laughs> I think they looked extremely happy to see each other again. I could just tell, even when they were like kissing, they were just wanting to hold one another. Yeah, you could tell they missed each other. Oh, oh don't drop her. I'm scared. The waterside ceremonies certainly caused a splash. Oh, I'm married. <laughs> but what will Taryn make of her very own Wednesday? Day we met. Yes. I propose it by Portaloo. Here we are today, married with Portaloo's. Oh. <laughs> drinks tent. Can we get drinks? That's disgusting. That's dinner. Hello. Okay. Not stuck on the pig. Oh. Right, look. look oh. Oh, paparazzi. Oh! I'm so happy. And finally, Jason's got a sweet treat for his bride. Oh my God, I love it. Happy Wednesday, babe. Oh. Love you. Love you. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> I love everything. I love it. I just love everything about the wedding. You've done me proud, babe. I wouldn't think you could pull it off. <laughs> Let's get the party started. I think he has done an amazing job. This is just amazing. Thank you to my beautiful bride. Like, I've got to be the luckiest bloke in the world. Like, she's turned up in the dress that I picked. I fully winged that. <laughs> and, right, and she's pulled it off. Magnificently, like honestly, hands together, she's got to look stunning. Yeah? <laughs> Without these boys with me, I would not have got through it. I'm extreme. telling you, I like Team Extreme. <laughs> Tell them about it, Jason. Extreme. Team Extreme. So, cheers, <laughs> cheers, boys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I really appreciate it. Team Extreme. We yeah. made Jason happy. Jason was Team nervous, Extreme so. succeeded. Jason's happy. We won. Yeah. We won. I love Jason more than I love this vegetable, so he's, he's amazing. I was just so excited to see him. Best day of my life. Yeah, buddy! Hey, 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 I'm going to go for my wife. 
Love you. I love you. You've done so good, babe. For you. I'm very proud of you. All for you. My own vegetable. I think Jason could be onto something. I wonder if the Wedstable could be the next big thing for festival lovers. <laughs> next time on Don't Tell the Bride, big kid Jake oh! goes gangster. I was thinking 1920s gangster film. For his bride, Steph. My worst nightmare in a wedding would be something really tacky. Pinstripe suits, red flapper dresses. What the hell? But when the girls see red... Pretend you're thinking of Jake. <laughs> Will Jake's plans be shot down? I'm not even joking now, that's ridiculous. So do you think the bride-to-be will like this venue? Yeah! <laughs> Stuffer. <laughs> <laughs>
with her big day entirely in Jake's hands. Steph's gone to crash with her folks. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, all right. I miss Jake already. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. I knew you would. Hopefully everyone keeps him on track. Hopefully his mum keeps him on track. And he knows me. Did you know tell him no well. go-karts? Huh? Did you tell him no go-karts? I didn't think I had to. <laughs> Weird. Could Steph's mum be psychic? Rather than get straight to work, Jake's met up with groomsmen Riley and Tristan. Seriously, go kart and boys. Yeah, we're all in. My mates are very much like me, so I think they'll enjoy everything that comes with the next three weeks. They'll enjoy go karting, paintballing, playing pool, drinking beer. I didn't hear wedding planning on that list. <laughs> Meanwhile, Steph's relaxing with some bubbles, and she's brought out the twins. Adele and LaToya. So two of my bridesmaids are <laughs> twins. When we were kids, we used to go around telling people we were triplets because that's how similar we are. Agreed. So the best three weeks of your life. <laughs> oh, yeah? How do you think Jake's going to go about planning all this? What um, do you think he's doing right now? Hopefully he's planning. Hopefully he's writing some stuff down. Yeah. yeah. Fat chance. Three weeks to plan a wedding is ridiculous. Yeah! So... He needs to use every moment of his time effectively. So Jake's off to a pretty slow start. With the wedding, at least. And back in the spa, the girls can only wonder what his master plan will be. He better not do a theme wedding. Seriously, um, could you imagine that? Seriously? Like, all everyone class. dresses up. <laughs> oh, no! Stop, stop talking. It's not even funny anymore. Like, I'm going to cry. It's not funny. My worst nightmare in a wedding would be something really tacky. That really kitsch kind of costumey vomit. <laughs> well, now that Jake's finally gotten home to start planning, Steph can only hope that he steers well clear of a theme. What does this wedding look like? What are we doing? Look. Oh, well, you know what I was thinking, right? Being that I love your old cars and flapper dresses and that, I was thinking 1920s gangster film. Right. So... How, how does that relate to you, though? Good question. I could not think of a better fitted theme for my wedding than to do a gangster wedding. Tommy guns, pinstripe suits, you know. I want everyone to have a pocket watch. Tommy guns. Yep. The Tommy guns will be there. Yeah. Tommy guns. Yeah, I think you said Tommy guns. I think you're keen for the Tommy guns. I'm gun. keen for the Tommy guns. <laughs> <laughs> What's a gangster without his Tommy gun? <laughs> it's a new day, and Jake's ready to make the biggest decision he'll ever have to make. I'm about to go in and check out some bride dresses. Yeah. Bride dresses? Yeah, I forgot what you call them. What are they called? Oh, wedding dresses. Well, at least he knows what he's shopping for. Let's hope fashion advisor and groomsman Riley can point him in the right direction. Uh, where do we start in here, man? It's crazy. They don't have engines, so I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Steph and the twins are out window shopping for Steph's dream dress. Pity she doesn't get to choose it. I'm really nervous because as much as this will be my dream dress, the one that Jake chooses might not be. And... <laughs> Definitely here for moral support. Yeah. We'll give Everyone that a real else. truth. Oh, yeah, real truth. Yeah, yeah nice guys, thanks. We'll thing. be telling you. <laughs> Your ass looks fat. <laughs> oh, I'm just really excited. <laughs> I've never been in a wedding dress store, even. I don't, I don't really like this one. I think it's like an older style. That seems so. like it would be for a second marriage. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Have you got any idea of what you're sort of thinking of as, as well? I'm very busty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'd like something that really tightens in at the top. OK. I'd, I'd like to not look like a ball. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just try lots of different things on and then just and then say, say what you like and what you don't awesome. like. Come on out. Oh wow. Gosh, you're stepping all over it. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it's not very forgiving. I think Jake will like it. I think Jake will <laughs> like it too. I mean, um, I'm not sure if that's the one. The guests are going to be looking and you don't want the grandparents to be like, oh, oh, oh I didn't even oh, thought yeah. of that. Yeah. yeah, they'd get a show. Yeah. yeah. Dinner and a show. Dinner and a show. Luckily, forward-thinking Jake has considered Steph's figure. Actually, yeah, I really like that. When trying the dresses on a model. Steph's rather a bit more busty. Is there any chance that we could, uh... Perhaps do some infilling. <laughs> Pretty please. 
now that Jake's made his modifications, the dress is starting to take shape. That, that looks a bit better. It looks a bit more like it. <laughs> oh, dear. She does have really nice melons. So I think that, that dress is kind of nice. I like it. Yeah, so do I. I really like that dress. Uh, even with the enhancements, it's quite sort of slimming, you know? Yeah. Right, so definite no. Definite no. Steph's second choice is a little bit more tasteful. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That makes your body look so much longer. Yeah, it, it makes does, you doesn't it? It, it makes me look taller. Yeah. I, I really mean, it does like help it. that I'm standing on a box, but, yeah. No, it's oh. so excited. Oh. I really like it. OK, slim fit, flowing with a fishtail bottom. What have you got, Jake? Ooh, that's nice. The melons wouldn't fit. I really like the back. Yeah. Problem is that I think with that you get they're gonna get that like the top boob, but up here, you know, it's like pressed up. Yeah, I, I don't know though. Like that is gorgeous. Would she choose this? I think she would. If he chose this dress, it would be incredible. It's just a really beautiful dress, and every every girl wants to look really nice on their wedding day. It's hard. <laughs> But when it really hits you, you just realise that this it's one day and you get to look exactly how you want and then that's kind of in his hands. And I love him and I trust him, but it's a big decision. Coming up, Jake cuts loose. Everyone, we need a tattoo parlour in Sydney. And the girls aren't happy. I'm not walking down the aisle like this. Has this gangster gone too far? Not having contact with Seth's killing me. Jake is just four days into planning his entire wedding to fiancé Steph. He's got a theme. And I was thinking 1920s gangster film. And she's got concerns. No, no. Stop, stop talking. It's not even funny anymore. <laughs> oh. Jake's just picked out two dresses, both of which look nothing like the one Steph chose for herself. The melons wouldn't fit. If I got this dress, I would, I'd die of happiness. And this is such a beautiful dress. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Jake needs to consider this carefully, as it could be the most important decision he has to make. Do my happy dance. Because I got the dress. The corset dress, I love it. It's unreal. I'm thinking I'll go that corset dress. OK, then, not a problem. So. Hopefully she'll feel the same way about it that I did when I saw it and I thought, that's the one. If I was getting married to a beautiful man, I'd be want to be in that dress, so... Doing the happy dance. Let's hope those happy vibes last. The next day, Steph and the twins have come to look at the venue she'd choose if she got to plan the wedding. So we're at Curzon Hall. This would probably be my dream venue. It's all castle and sandstone and manicured lawns. And we and... haven't even been inside yet. Wow. wow. It's huge. Yeah. Oh. This is my dream. Yeah. Like, imagine, the dress. The dress, the hair, the makeup. Yeah. It couldn't possibly look classless. It yeah. couldn't possibly look tacky. I'm just really hoping you choose it somewhere like this. Yeah. Well, let's just hope he doesn't choose somewhere completely opposite. Yeah. yeah. You mean like this place? Fairground Follies, an antique funfair museum. Oh, no way. <laughs> where Jake wants his ceremony to be held. <laughs> Check this thing out. I'm completely besides myself. My theme is like 1920s gangster. Mm -hmm. um, you reckon that'd work here? Yeah, I think it would. Most of this equipment would come from that era. It's jazz, 1930s. You can do your yep. ceremony in front of the Taj Mahal here. This is unreal. And it'll play the wedding march. Oh, wow. I'm seriously getting tingles. This is unreal. The girls are getting tingles too. How do you two know how to walk down the aisle? I've been for years. <laughs> As much as he loved the faux fairground, Jake has another gangster venue to consider. Wow. So this is the chapel. 
But this is no ordinary chapel. It's kind of like a Tarantino film, you know? It's got a cathedral inside the actual bar. That's right, Bar 100 has a chapel inside the bar. That's what you were looking for? Yeah, it's beyond. It's taken it to the next level. I'm going for a 1920s gangster theme and the artwork and the building really suited. And they've even supplied toilets for us. <laughs> All the bells and whistles. And with a cocktail bar just upstairs, Jake can have his ceremony and reception in the same place. And Steph has the same idea. Oh, wow. Only on a grander scale. Her dream reception venue is inside Curzon Hall. Stop here. Yeah. Open your eyes. <laughs> it's huge. It's, it's so beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> it's just, it's gasp worthy. Yeah. Yes. This is just the epitome of what I would want. If Jake found something like this, I would be extremely ecstatic. So do you think the bride-to-be will like this venue? Stuffer. <laughs> <laughs> On that charming note, the venue is booked. So what's, what's the damage? So we're able to do it at our function price, which is a 10,000 minimum spend okay. on food and beverage. That's a whopping $10,000 for a cocktail-style reception. And with an additional $1,000 to hire the bar's built-in chapel, Jake's just spent almost half his budget. They've now been apart for five days, and tonight they'll be partying separately too as the bucks and the hens fall on the same night. And Jake has organised both events. I wish I knew what was going on tonight. I hope he chooses something fun. Like, all the girls are expecting a big night out, so hopefully he sorted something good out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what happens tonight as long as I get a stripper. Oh, my God! I have a homo! It's up to Jake to budget how much he wants to spend on the woman he loves. <laughs> Though it looks like he spared no expense, Adele's received a text message from Jake. Girls, I have something to say. Um, so I'm not sure what we're doing or what's going on tonight, but we have to... Um, Jake has told me that we all have to pay $30 each. Even what? Me? Yeah. Even me? $30? Hey, ah. you, Steph? What a tight ass. He didn't tell me what it was, but he just said... 25 grand and he couldn't just cover the hens. I bet you his is, like, expensive as. Now, now, Steph. Thank you. I'm sure he got a good deal on the bikini waitresses, the unlimited drinks, the buffet dinner, the laser skeet shooting, and the five hour cruise around the harbour. But just what does Jake have planned for the hen's night? Where are we going? I'm terrified. For her special night, Jake's booked Steph and the girls in. Pick an easel. For an art class. Yes. Life drawing, we all know what that involves. Yes. Penis. Fill your page. Draw what you see, guys. Just look and draw. I can't believe there's someone naked in front of me. Didn't you ask for strippers? I asked for strippers. But this is serious. I'm supposed to be serious. I'm supposed to be a proper artist right now. Try to focus, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I've sobered up. <laughs> Which is more than can be said for her groom. Steph's having as good a night as I am. You might want to slow down a bit, mate. Uh, Told ya. I love you, Stephanie. And I love you, Craigany! I love you, Craigany! But I love you, Stephanie. Oh, he's so. such a romantic. Meanwhile, the girls have finished their doodling and Adele receives a text from Jake telling them what else he's organised. Wait, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Right, I've just found out what we're doing next uh, for the second part of the hands night and it's 6.30 at night and uh, Jake has planned nothing. 
What? 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 There's what? nothing. What? Really? Really? No, Plans. Why? You're not serious. He hasn't planned anything at all. And he wanted $30 for this. Where did he spend all the money? Why did we get stranded on the street? You don't want to know, because a more sober Jake has a plan. Everyone, we need a tattoo parlour in Sydney. Where is it? If you put those tattoos on the bill, the Bucks night has come in at $3,000, while the girls all had to pay $30 each for their art class. Oh. If Jake hasn't done it for you, we'll do it ourselves. Yeah. 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 So that's what happens when you get a man to do a woman's job. It's the morning after Jake's Bucks party. And he's suffering from a pretty severe case of post-drinking remorse. I have no idea what made me decide to get a tattoo. I'm not having contact with Seth's killing me. It must be hard being apart from the one you love. I need her right now. She cooks a killer bacon and eggs. Well, you've always got your yoghurt and your mirror to keep you company. Back to bed. 24 hours later and slightly more sober, Jake realises he better get cracking on that whole wedding thing. So I'm looking for the dresses for the bridesmaids. I think that's the one. That's the outfit. Having to dress the bridesmaids is going to be an issue. I'm not amazing when it comes to dressing females. Um, undressing, legendary. Um, <laughs> I found this website and they do a flapper dress. Not only are they unbelievably in theme, but they're also dirt cheap. I'm sure the bridesmaids will appreciate that. As the days fly by, Steph's on a crash diet to look her best on her wedding day. So she's taken out the twins for a workout. Good. Keep going. Good. Good. Pretend you're thinking of today. Jake, if you get to my dress wrong, oh, I'm gonna kiss it. <laughs> this is the gig he's gonna get if he invites everyone on Facebook. <laughs> Instead of writing invitations. Hell hath no fury like a scorned kickboxing bride. I've never been invited to a wedding via Facebook. They don't get, hey, if they don't use Facebook, it's their fault. He's still pregnant. P-R-E-G, yeah, you got it. As you're probably aware, Steph and I are engaged, but what most of you don't know is I've planned a wedding. No, she's not pregnant. Rest assured, Steph and the twins will not be hitting like on that status update. <laughs> Get if there's constantly all the time toys and games around my wedding instead of something <laughs> elegant. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, toy guns. Just what every girl wants at her wedding. I want some of Jake in the wedding. I just want Jake and Steph. So Jake's little kidness and his <laughs> love of everything tacky and playful, I love about him. I just hope that it doesn't take over the entire wedding. Now, now, I'm sure the Tommy gun fight won't last the entire evening. I just want that one day to pretend, <laughs> to pretend we're classy and elegant people. Looks like Steph's dream may be shot down. The following morning, the twins are finally about to learn what gangster Jake has in store for them. We're about to see our bridesmaids dresses for the first time. I'm so nervous. Oh, God. Jay! Hey, Hi. girls. How, How are, are you? Are we? <laughs> Haven't seen you for so long. I think the worst type of bridesmaid dress would be definitely something that's like a party dress. I just don't want it to be really tacky, like as if we're going to some themed dress up party. Oh, it's in a box. This isn't promising. Um, you better like them. There's your dresses. What the hell? <laughs> Why are they in plastic bags? Oh. <laughs> what the hell? No. Red, your favourite colour. What the hell? 
Well, they're certainly seeing red. What is this? <laughs> this is not funny. <laughs> Four dollars. One dollar. <laughs> yeah. Hey, big spender. Is this a joke? Are you serious? <laughs> right, these are your dresses. I don't know what to do. Oh, they stink. <laughs> It looks like a cabaret. Like, seriously, is, is there a theme or something going on? Yeah, it's a gangster theme. No, it's not. Yeah. Don't even say that. Don't even Are you joke. serious? Yeah, I'm not even joking now. That's ridiculous. It is. I hope you're kidding. Nah. Like, Jake. No. <laughs> Be honest. Gangster. 100% honest. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm really angry right now because it's horrible. It's probably the worst outfit I could ever think of for a wedding. It's immature and it's, it's silly. It's just embarrassing. I feel humiliated and I don't know why Jake would do well, this. Why do this, like... Because... <laughs> no, it's not funny. Steph's going to be so upset when she sees this. I look like an idiot. Words can't explain how mad I am. Lucky us bridesmaids, hey? I'm silently, between us, a bit scared. Uh, I think I might have gone too overboard with the dresses. And I wouldn't mess with an angry bridesmaid. Are you happy? Yeah, I love them. Do you really? Because I think I look like a freak. That's your opinion. I think you look gorgeous. <sighs> Not as good as your sister, but you look stunning. They're too ugly. So you think I look better? <laughs> Is that right? It's not about who looks better. Backhanded flattery will get you nowhere. I'm out. I'm not walking down the aisle like this. Groom-to-be Jake has just told bridesmaids Adele and LaToya that they'll be walking down the aisle in red flapper dresses. No. Because I'm not even joking now. That's ridiculous. The girls are entitled to their opinion. I feel humiliated. But at the end of the day, it's my choice. So they have to wear them. Is Steph dressed up like she's going to flip it? See, the biggest issue is it's too late now. <clears throat> OK, I'm going to say this. I will wear it. Sorry, it's not my wedding. I'm going to be nice and say, you want it? It's a party, it's dress up. I'm going to wear it. Jake's done a theme, so I guess we have to go with you the theme. You have to roll with the theme. Because otherwise we will look funny. And it's not our wedding to choose, so yeah. you have to put up with these kind of things at weddings. It was going a bit south, but then once I really just said, nah, look, it's theme and it needs to be this way, I think we were able to come to a good compromise. A happy compromise. Well done, Jake. With only a few days to go, Jake's under the gun, organising a cake... I really like this. ..working on his tan, ordering shoes for the bride, working on his tan... I've got to be honest with you, right now, I'm not thinking about the wedding. ..and buying the suits. Looking smooth, guys. And with all that boring stuff out of the way, mechanic Jake can finally have some me time. I'm beyond excited. This is... Breathtaking. Take it easy. Oh, they even smell like old cars. I love it. Think he might need a moment. I just can't put into words. I found the car. She's over there. She's unreal. And her sister car next to her. If I can get a second car within budget, that'll be her. Go on. Spoil yourself. We might need to leave Jake alone for a little while. There's now only 24 hours to go until the big day. And as the girls make sure they look their best, Jake's got enough in his budget for one last flourish. We're here today to get a dancing lesson because I realised that I don't know how to dance for my very own wedding. This lesson is probably a good idea. So what we're going to do is step, kick, step, tap. Step, kick, oh, look, a mirror. Do you want a yoghurt? I want to learn the Charleston, which is a 1920s dance. I really think it will fit in theme perfectly. Up, forward, up, back. The only issue, the thing that I'm concerned about, is I'm only a couple of days from the wedding. I've only got enough time for one lesson, so hopefully I can pick it up in this lesson. 
Well, A for effort, anyway. That was really good. I'm buggered now. <laughs> it's a good workout, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's the biggest workout I've done in <laughs> ever, I reckon. Job done. Back to the pool. And as Jake tries to clear his mind ahead of the big day, Steph is anything but relaxed as she is about to see the dress she'll be walking down the aisle in for the first time. I've never even heard of this I place. didn't even know this shop existed. I have no idea where we are. The complete, absolute death, just like jump off a bridge, worst case scenario would be that it's tacky. I don't want to look cheap on my wedding day. Are you Good. nervous? I am very nervous. I'm very, 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 very nervous. If the dress is completely hideous, I'll go naked. I'll go naked. I'm that, I'm that serious. If it's ugly, I'm not wearing it. Here we go. <sighs> How bad could it be, right? How bad could it be? The melons wouldn't fit. Luckily, she's come with moral support. I'm getting married! <laughs> As best friends and bridesmaids, we need to be honest with her. You can't lie to her because then, you know, not only will she look like a fool, but we won't be doing our duty. I'm just so happy to be getting married. I'm getting married before you. Have you got the tissues ready? I certainly do. I will uh, keep them handy by my side. I think we'll need them today. If she's happy or sad, she's going to cry. That's a safe bet. Mm, sounds big. She's bound to be shocked when she realises how different the dress is from the elegant, flowing fishtail number she chose for herself. I think you'll be surprised. Mm, OK. Keep going. Sorry. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm scared. Like, I feel sick. I don't feel good. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm not ready. I don't, I don't want it, to be honest. OK, ready? Three, two, one. To join the conversation about this gangster themed wedding or even plan your own, then head to 10.com.au forward slash don't tell the bride. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. This is a big moment for Steph. <gasps> She's just seen the dress she'll be married in for the first time. But are those tears of joy? <laughs> or despair. Yeah. What do you think? Do you love it? I love it. I <laughs> love it. It's nicer than the one I had. I absolutely love it. But I think it's it. cute. I, I think really... it's perfect. I love it. Steph, I love it. Do you? A hundred percent, I love it. You did good. You did My babe did good. Yeah. Do you want a tissue? You think yes, please. The oh, happy sorry. tears. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. You don't even know. Like, you don't even know how glad I am you're here. So, 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 so happy. Well, well done, done to Jake. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> it's beautiful. Finally, it's a win for Jake. And after three weeks of planning, the big day has finally arrived. Jake is on top of the world, posing for photos and smartening up. I think right now she's finding out what the theme is, so it'll be interesting to see how she takes it, whether she walks down the aisle or not. Jake is right to be concerned, as Steph still has no idea her wedding will have a gangster theme. And there's no greater giveaway than those bridesmaids' dresses. I hope that Steph doesn't react like the way we did, because, like, I was almost in tears, and yeah. I know Steph can be a bit emotional sometimes. I'm so scared. Wait, how angry are you? I'll let you know after you see it. One, two, three. Shake it, baby! Shake it! 
<laughs> she doesn't like it. It, it. It's not traditional. The dresses are clearly cheap. <laughs> <laughs> you look so cute. <laughs> Almost like it. Oh, I actually quite like it. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting like a proper bridesmaid's dress and I wasn't expecting that this is clearly themed. All right, so because of all this, do you know what theme it is? You look like flappers. I don't know, I'm not that good with ears. 20s? 20s, 30s? 20s? 20s. 20s what? It's not gangsters. Yes! Yeah. 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 1920s gangster. He's so tacky! <laughs> you, you do. The tacky trio have arrived on location in the city and get to work decorating the bar and chapel. Check this out. Oh. Look at her, she's even cute in cake form. So cute. <laughs> Meanwhile, the real Steph is almost dressed and ready to go. Do you like it? I love it. It fits so well, like they did a really good job. Yes, absolutely. Really good job. I guess the melons were a good idea. Oh, and here are the shoes that Jake got you. Mm, yes. Let's see how well he did with those. Mmm. Nice shoes. <laughs> he does know your taste. He does he know, know me. They're not real. I can tell they're knockoffs, but he, he had a budget of 25 grand, not 25 million. And they're very tall. With the gangster secret out of the bag, Jake can send over the vintage cars to take Steph to the wedding. I can't believe you got me Jags. I frigging love Jags so much. The challenge is getting to the Jag in those shoes. I'm trying not to fall down the stairs. It's like a hike. <laughs> Thank you, the shoes are ridiculous as well. <laughs> Turn around. Ah, I just got a cramp in my leg. Hang on. Jesus, yeah. The most impractical dress ever. I'm scared I'm going to trip down the aisle. These shoes are ridiculous. As the bride approaches, the guests arrive. Looks like they all check their Facebook. And Jake is finally starting to look nervous. I'm hoping she'll get over the theme just by how good we look. But there's still one last hurdle. Steph doesn't know she'll be walking down the aisle in a bar. It's not Whoa. a bar. You can't get married at a bar, can you? You can decorate a bar. Oh, yeah. You know, and make it really, Thanks, really Dad. nice. You're really helping, but I'm you a bit know? concerned. Well, <laughs> it's a it bar. is a bar, but... It's a bar. It's a bar, Dad. I know. You can dress up a bar, but it's a bar. <laughs> Okay. No, you still I'm do. Holding it, right? I'm holding it. Wow, this is a this is a bit much. Okay, ready? Are we ready? Am I ready? I'm not sure. After three long weeks apart, Jake and Steph are finally reunited to be married. As soon as Steph makes it down the aisle. <laughs> Unfortunately for Steph. Hang on. Stop. Jake bought her shoes. Wait, Dad, give me a second. Jeez Louise! Oh, I'm not going to cry. All right, are we ready? Ready? Oh, there's so much. Oh, pretend I was classy, guys. Pretend. You look so nice. <laughs> I love your That's suit. Great. We're here today for a very special occasion. Can I have my Asmapoffer? They're going to read them to you. <laughs> it's all too exciting. Sorry, guys. Asmapoffer. Thing. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. I hope everyone got photos of that. <laughs> From the day I met you, I knew you would be a very special person in my life. But I never could have foreseen that you would become my entire life. If you want me to make you a real promise today, it would have to be something that I could choose not to do. So promising to love, cherish and be faithful are all out of the question. So today I promise to always give you the chocolate tip of my Cornetto cones. <laughs> <laughs> and if you ever doubt just how much I love you, you just have to remember that I shared my food with you. And what larger demonstration of love do you want? I love you. I love you. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jake, you may kiss your beautiful wife. <laughs> I'm 
just so happy to be married. I couldn't be happy, I really. I love you so much. If you do it with me, we won't look so stupid. Yeah, these shoes are really tall. I'm in a lot of pain, <laughs> but I'm very happy. I just, I'm really happy. No, I like them. <laughs> I'm not taking them off. I said I was in pain. As the bridal party gathers for photos, they all agree that Jake's ceremony has been a hit. We're going to go find husbands. Hold on to your husbands, ladies. <laughs> but what will Steph think of his gangster reception? Yeah. Toys for everyone to play no with. No way. Yeah. Could everyone play with those? Yeah. Love it. Love it. This is the cake. <laughs> Do they look I familiar? Love it. Yes. <laughs> they were actually made to look like us. <laughs> the bride and groom are drunk and passed out, just like the day they met. Beautiful. <laughs> Do you know what? Not half bad for a themed wedding. Not half bad. And Jake saved one special part of the venue just for Steph. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. Come over. Oh, baby killed it. It's so nice. It's oh, so lovely. beautiful. Thank you. You're so beautiful. Oh, baby. Venue fit for the right girl. Oh, shut up. As the guests arrive for the reception, the verdict is unanimous. Jake has done an amazing job. I don't know how he's pulled it off. I know there was a lot of laughs in the wedding, but that is who they are. I had tears in my eyes. It was very touching as well. As you laughed and then you cried. <laughs> like it was a perfect mix of both. Steph, I want to tell you how beautiful you look today. I can't say the same about us bridesmaids with these ridiculous outfits on, <laughs> but at least Jake got the main part right. <laughs> I'd like to thank Steph for just being the most amazing, beautiful, perfect girl in the world, and I couldn't be any happier. So thank you. <laughs> Unreal. I reckon I just absolutely pulled that off. <laughs> Steph seems to have loved it 100%, and that's all I really wanted to do the last three weeks was just make her happy. So if she's happy, I'm over the moon. So far, it's been a perfect night. Don't go ruining it now, Jake. I was hysterical when I saw Jake's first dance. I could not stop laughing. I can't believe that he danced in front that's, of everyone. That's called the Charleston, baby. Is it? 1920s I'm gangster. pretty sure that was called the Jake Impromptu. Teacher I'm is going sure, to kill me I'm pretty me sure when your dance teacher just saw you. And like, they're going to be like, oh my God, shame. Because that was, it was so funny. I loved it. Absolutely. Best night of my life. Without a doubt. I love you, Mr. Chuck. I love you, Mr. Chuck. Well, it seems in the end our brave groom Jake managed to get that tick of approval from his beautiful bride, Steph. <laughs> Next time on Don't Tell the Bride. It's going to be a great wedding. If he gets it wrong, I'll be telling him about it for the rest of our lives. <laughs> this groom has the most ambitious wedding plans yet. Wow. And that's enormous. Absolutely enormous. But Willie's Bucks trip. Honey, I love you. I'll be back shortly. Oh! And losing his in-laws. If I lose the parents, she'll never have me. Bring his plans crashing down to the ground. Don't worry about me, I'm just the bride. <laughs>